budget and do it the trailer park way. Well, you know, the grocery store, we talked about it last time, is really crazy and, you know, sometimes you can't find your favorite ingredients. I know I've been having strange findings, like I can't find cans of corn. I find like cream corn and I'm like, hmm, that's not my favorite, but, you know, you're using with limited things that you can find and today's recipe actually just has a few ingredients and one of them is kind of unusual and you might find it on the shelf all the time. It's pineapple salsa. Today we're going to whip this pineapple salsa with some chicken to turn it into a great dish that you can serve over rice and it's so simple. It simmers up on the stove top and it's quick and easy. Serves over rice. It's my pineapple chicken up next on Cooking with John Lane, the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my pineapple chicken is really simple, and you're going to love this over rice or maybe even that fancy couscous. But I've got my skillet pan here up on the stove top, and I'm just going to use some olive oil because that's what I have on hand. And I actually found this at the dollar store. You can find this kind of thing there now. And um, you could actually use some vegetable oil too, but um, I'm just pouring just a little bit in there. Um, not much at all. Um, we just need to make sure that it doesn't stick. And today we're using chicken. And I did the chicken tenders and then I cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Now, this is probably about four of the five chicken breasts. And um, you could use just regular chicken breasts. Maybe you could thaw out the frozen kind. Because we all know that those uh, chicken in a bag, the breast kind, um, actually saves a lot of money. But we're going to heat this up and we're going to start to cook our chicken. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, our skillet pan has heated up with the oil. And we are going to put in our chicken pieces here. Now, I've chopped these up into just bite-sized pieces here, and I did that with a sharp knife. I always do that off-camera because I always end up having to glue my finger back together. I always keep that glue on hand because I've learned that because I paid, I don't know, a couple hundred dollar copay at the hospital one time, and that's all they used on me. I'm not a doctor, by the way, but... Um, I always put just a little bit of garlic whenever I'm cooking with that. And actually, let's go ahead and be careful with the spoon. We've got to be good with germs these days. And um, just a little bit of pepper. And how about some, I'm really fancy today, some Himalayan salt. You can use regular table salt, but this, you can find this at the dollar store too. But I'm going to brown up this chicken and check that out. Okay, we have our chicken done here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add one and a half cans of chunks of pineapple here. So we're just going to add that with the juice right on in there, just like that. And there we go. Not all the juice there. We're going to pour the rest of it just out in the can there. We don't need all that juice, but we do want all that pineapple. And then I have pineapple salsa here. You can find it store brand or there's name brand and we're going to add one and a half cans of 
pineapple salsa into this chicken and pineapple mixture. And there we go. Let's just do another half a jar, just like that. And I know some of y'all are uh, salsa lovers, and I see some of y'all doing table nachos. I don't know how y'all do that yet, but um, you're going to have to Google that if you don't know what that is. But I'm just going to mix this around and bring this up to a simmer. And this is just going to be fall apart chicken in here, too. Um, you could probably do this in the crock pot or something like that. I'd love to hear about that. But let me simmer this up. It's probably going to take about 45 minutes to an hour on a simmer to make it really nice and um, tender here. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. there you have it, my pineapple chicken, and I've served it over rice here, and um, it looks so good, smells so good too, and it was so simple to make with that pineapple salsa, which I don't think there'll be a run on at the store either, and um, I've heard that people can make this in like the, um, uh, maybe the crock pot or something like that, I'll be interested to hear how y'all make it, but I just can't wait to try it here, I'll get a little bit of everything, Look Look at those pineapple chunks. Mmm, wow. That is, you know, it kind of, a little bit like Chinese food. Um, this is a creation. Um, the pineapple, kind of tropical, um, very sweet a little bit with um, the follow-up of the salsa. Wow, that's got a kick too. And, the onions that were actually in the salsa too. I taste those too. Mmm, this is so good. This is comfort food and so simple to make. I can't wait to hear how you're all going to change it up uh, to your taste and wow. Send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com if you make it. Don't forget to follow me all around. I'm on Etsy and you can visit my website at TrailerParkQueen.com and I'll have some more episodes, I promise. So hit that big old subscribe button or follow button or whatever it is. And I'm on Facebook. Follow me there. I'm all over the place. And, wow, I hope that you get a chance to make this. Hope y'all and your friends and family are doing well. Um, be safe. And I'll be back soon inside the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. See you back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out.